Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be diving into the mysterious world of SCP-2474, Ernini Mons. This little number is classified as Keter, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's not waste any time and get right into it, shall we? Monitoring of electronic communications originating from the Divine Unity 3 space station is required to detect any signs of influence by SCP-2474. Additionally, any missions near Venus conducted by international space agencies, non-profit consortia, or private interplanetary firms should be investigated for the potential of encountering SCP-2474, particularly those likely to gather data about the northern hemisphere of the planet. SCP-2474, known as Ernini Mons, is classified as a designation A3 cognito hazard, meaning that it affects individuals indirectly. The anomaly was first observed by Dr. Richard Simonis during a mission to Venus in 1992. The documentation of SCP-2474 was made using synthetic aperture radar during mapping cycle 3 of the mission. Subsequent radar mapping activities have confirmed the existence of SCP-2474. Individuals who observe SCP-2474 through indirect means, such as reading detailed accounts or viewing photographic records, experience neurological and psychological effects of varying severity. This was demonstrated in Incident 2474.1. SCP-2474 is believed to be the home of a previously unknown species of entities, although the nature of these entities remains unknown. Based on Incident 2474.1 and subsequent events, it is assumed that these entities are hostile. The prevailing theory regarding SCP-2474 is that it is of human origin. The construction of SCP-2474 at least 150 years before the development of planetary exploration technology, remains a mystery. This theory is based on records of Incident 2474.1 and the archives of GOI 004b. All individuals suspected of being exposed to SCP-2474 must be isolated following designation A3 protocols. Interaction with research participants and personnel exposed to SCP-2474 is restricted to the MANU-13 system. In anticipation of the new Shambhala colonization expedition, Mobile Task Force Ro-19, Cytherians, operatives have been integrated into the first thousand group of specialists tasked with establishing a full base of operations in the Venusian atmosphere. MTF Ro-19 will conduct an exploratory mission to SCP-2474 upon the arrival of the expedition in March of 2153. Records from the late 20th century by Dr. Richard Simonis documenting SCP-2474 have been removed from the era's archives. Prior to containment by the Foundation, public awareness of SCP-2474 was limited due to Dr. Simonis' mistaken belief that the anomaly was a digital artifact. This belief led to the removal of visual evidence of SCP-2474 as part of a general smoothing process of graphical errors in maps of the Venusian surface. After Incident 2474.1, the personal records of Dr. Simonis were seized and reviewed by Foundation researchers. Documentation showed that Dr. Simonis continued working in the aerospace industry for several years after the discovery of SCP-2474, before abruptly resigning from the USA-88 GPS satellite launch mission staff. Personal correspondence involving Dr. Simonis at this time depicted a marked change in personality, with personnel files noting unspecified erratic behavior, believed to be attributed to SCP-2474 exposure. Public records about Dr. Simonis indicate that he divorced in 1995, and purchased several acres of land in rural Michigan later in the year. Following the land purchase, the only documentation related to Dr. Simonis was correspondence from various publishing houses and internet-based literary services. During these years, Dr. Simonis repeatedly attempted to publish a short story called SCP-2474, which was uniformly rejected by all recipients. 
Dr. Simonis self-published this story on several occasions in several different forms of electronic media. No evidence exists that the story was read by any individuals apart from Dr. Simonis. Access to SCP-2474 is currently exclusive to Manu-13 per A3 protocol. Dr. Simonis was declared deceased by the State of Michigan Vital Records Office in 2037 after requests by county-level officials to discharge his estate to his legal heirs. The death certificate of Dr. Simonis lists no cause of death, as no remains were ever recovered after investigation of his Schoolcraft County, Michigan residents and the vicinity. Incident Report Date, November 23, 2142 Anomaly Involved, SCP-2474 Casualties, 6 Staff Injured, Lead Researcher Sung J. Rim Researcher Jens Halvorsen Researcher Anjali Munnavar Researcher Jacob Fenton Technician Leonard Grybowski Technician Ishii Kiman Property Loss, Not Applicable Incident Summary Research team analyzing imaging results from recent Harbinger 3 clandestine satellite mission in low Venus orbit encounters image of unknown, presumed anomalous structure present in northern Venusian. Hemisphere Approximately three hours after filing report for initial SCP classification, all members of research team begin exhibiting signs of distress. Lead researcher Sung becomes unresponsive to all stimuli, while researcher Fenton and technician Keeman report visual and auditory hallucinations. Remaining team members report intense sensation of intrusive thoughts. All personnel immediately quarantined under emergency cognitohazard response procedures. Response, SCP-2474 receives official classification and is listed as designation A3 cognitohazard. Lead researcher Sung receives diagnosis of permanent vegetative state and is moved to long-term intensive care facility. Researcher Fenton and technician Keeman receive ongoing course of sedatives and antipsychotics to control anomalous symptoms. All staff currently being evaluated for therapeutic and counseling needs upon expiry of A3 quarantine.